Hello everybody, this is Tan Tan here and since the outbreak I have decided to do a late product. This is the Unique Toys UTR03 Dragoon which is the last night Megatron. So first and foremost this is the box here. As you can see they have the uh, face up front of Megatron. This is H15+. plus. So I would figure this is more like a uh, movie masterpiece scale. At the front of the box we have the Megatron and we have the Unique Toys logo over there. Turn it over size. What we have is Dragoon and the code red. Onto the back, we have uh, the image of Megatron in the robot mode and the Cybertronian jet mode. I would, um, I'm not preferring this because as you can see, the box is mostly black. And then they have that image of Megatron here, which is kind of blend in. So there's no highlight at all. So I would, I don't understand why they would do that. Anyway, moving on. On the other side, we still only have the Dragoon. It's really hard to see. I guess you can see now that it's kind of like a reflective print. And this is the front of the box. And the interesting thing is that they made the box in a kind of a uh, glossy material. It is glossy and it, it has a kind of like mid touch into it. So it's quite interesting to see to see that they how much they invested in the box they try to make it look like a high class figures and another detail is that the face if you look closely there's one half of Megatron this is without the mask and the other half is with the mask that is quite interesting so they showing that this figures can um, have a transformation gimmick onto the face so he can wear his mask or not wearing his mask so unboxing Dragoon this is all we have First is the, of course, is Megatron itself. Then we have the sword. His sword of in the last night, the shield. I want to talk about it in the minute. And we have another Optimus Prime head. This is new. This is the optional head for Challenger, which is the UTR02. Also, including in the box, we have the manual. This is for transformation. So we have 34 steps to transform this guy from robot mode to jet mode so as far as I'm concerned this is pretty much a um, leader on ma movie masterpiece scale here so yeah I, I quite enjoyed it so this is Megatron here in the jet mode the Cybertronian jet mode and the first impression is this is okay and kind of movie accurate because let's be honest we saw this mode in the movie for like 10 seconds but anyway, it is a good representation. So as you can see, they have changed Megatron back to his first movie concept, which will be a Cybertronian jet instead of a uh, an Earth vehicle. So that is pretty interesting because in the last night, they all shift back to Cybertron. So that is quite interesting. Now to picking up this guy and to see the details, as you can see, he has a lot of bronze color detail here and a little bit splash of gold color paint onto the wings and this but then mostly the highlights are the bronze color so I really enjoy the paint it's pretty durable so for details as you can see here we have some Cybertronian text I think this is so, sort of some like night or something I don't know and then at the front we have the open cockpit but this is mostly for the transformation gimmick flip it back we have a landing gear which is on a hinge joint so you can close it like that this is die cast metal also the tips here is also die cast metal so i think this is for because of the transformation i'm not sure but then this is just a reason for them to raise up the price of the figures flip it back you have to see his fusion cannon attached onto the jet this is a really good weapon storage you can bring it up like that to some posts so he can do the pew pew thing and again this is like some kind of like mini gun or something this is quite cool but there's one thing I do not understand is that this bronze color piece here this two piece they, are, they looks like thruster but then again they are placed up front so I don't really understand the point of it this is kind of a misleading design but then again if you bring it back this will be the thruster they even made it has some kind of like 
vent here and the bronze color here highlight that this is the th actual thruster of the jet and you have some guns here it's like you shoot backwards and you have some movable wings here this is just for posing so I normally left them in the same position they don't do much so at the front we have we have a lot of like mechanical details here this is like tubes and steel bars to secure the tubes so this is look like the uh, fuel or the energon is flowing around the body back in the wings here as you can see they made a lot of details to represent panels see it looks realistic but then again uh, they made some mistake with some plastic holes over here I don't understand that so this may be like just bad quality control but I would expect more from a like movie masterpiece scale figure like this but then again this is the, this is a third party transformer and I have to give them credit because they did their own engineering of the Megatron not like some knockoff oversized version and if you look it up front here like this you can see this is a really good cal calculated jet this is a very dynamic jet with a slick body and the large wingspan which I really like this is they actually think of the uh, physics of the figures to make it look more realistic that so it can actually exist in the favors this is the size comparison with the unique toys challenger and this is the two next to each one and another as you can see Megatron is a lot longer than Optimus for the size really long and then again they are basically on the same level of height i would prefer them in the robot mode and as uh, the same happened with optimus you cannot put the weapons of megatron onto his body like the same as optimus so you're just fine to place them if you want to display them in the vehicle mode
So this is Megatron after the transformation. So as you can see, this is a really great transformation. Why? Because it doesn't look like it can transform at all. Unless you like spot it really close and you can see the gimmicks and the joint. But this is a really good transformation. This is a really much a, a cable free figures, which is a surprise because if you look at the jet mode, it is a really slick jet, but then it can transform to this bulky aesthetic robot mode and um, I really enjoy the transformation and I also really enjoy the final product this is a really great representation of Megatron in the last night and it just look amazing as for the overall impression so this concept brings us back to the original color scheme of Megatron which is pretty much gray and they cooperate that with the knight design the knight armor design so it looks really great and unlike the first Megatron, this Megatron is more aesthetic. You see the aesthetic of the figure is really great. It looks actually like a human. So at this point, it looks like aliens more than robots. Other than that, it looks really great with all the aesthetic and also with the highlight of bronze and gold color over on up on the whole the figures. With the, that highlight, Megatron's detail looks spot on. They also make a lot of panel line. So the pan, what, the, what the panel line actually does is that it gives the figures more, a lot more dimensions it looks like armor plate that has been forged together also another thing is with the face i really love that highlight on the right side of the face it looks the figure looks spot on and look gives Megatron a more mason mason looks like war paint or some kind of that which we actually saw in our own history that old ancient people actually have war paint on their face uh, also that i really love this figure for the head of Megatron, as we can see, this is a completely redesigned because upon the last four Transformer of Bavers, Megatron has always has a uh, rectangular head with spike on the head. But here we have a more rounded head, more suited for this night look. Also, I would prefer it has some spike on the head like to keep up with the old Megatron design. I actually prefer that design. And one more thing is that the head, this is the mask version and with the highlight on the face you can see that is like a war paint as I have mentioned and we have a little bit of color, gold color here and there like that as you can see this is just more like like I said this is a highlight on the whole figures that is pretty interesting but what is more interesting is that the transformation gimmicks of the head because as you can see this Megatron can actually have his unmasked version of himself so first up for transformation, you want to bring out these two pieces like that and you do that by having these pieces here, you just bring them out, that's it and then you bring up the whole helmet section like so and up to this point you want to rotate, you just want to rotate so uh, be careful with this part because the chin is pretty long because it has the uh, two size chin so it's pretty hard to rotate so you want to do them carefully so you don't break them or do, do any pin tripping do them really carefully like that bring that out and just bring the helmet down so this is the other face the face of Megatron and I'm gonna say it right now this is a really movie accurate design they recapture the whole spirit of Megatron which is grunt and menacing just like in the movie and here you can see the more pain does more effects on him so like you see the whole complete size of the face is red so this is a really good look just like with optimus so this shows that he has met with quintessa in the movie and then they she gave him this new body and etc and moving up front to the forehead of him so there should be a decepticon logo but then due to copyright reason they do not include it other than that, he has a painted eye, which is a, you can see the red, I want to try to show you, bring you the red, it's a little bit hard to see, but he does have a painted red eyes, which is really nice, capture the whole spirit of Megatron. The second thing I'm going to look at is Megatron Fusion Cannon, so as you can see, this is a clearly reference from G1, because the OG classic Megatron always has a blaster on his right arm. And this is a really good blaster so it does hook on the chain on the back I'm gonna turn it around for you to see so this is a really beautiful chain it has like a double layer chain 
So I guess this is for racing with the price. But then the stupid thing is that they have his the chain connected to this port on his back, but then the chain is too short. So it actually, if when you slightly move the arms, it gonna fall off. So the solution for that is I I, I prefer to plug it onto this hole on his arm. This is his shoulder joint, like that. Just plug it in there, like so. So in that way, you still get to see the chain detail, but then you also keep the possibility of the figure, so it doesn't affect since the chain is too short, unlike with like other figures. And also the gun, the gun is really interesting here. You can they include your batteries and the blaster, so it has a LED F mode. So press it one, press it twice. It's a slow firing, but press it again. It, it became a rapid fire. So I really like this feature. This is add a more playable value to the figure itself. Because as you can see, the Transformer figures up on this day to be classified as a good Transformer figures. They try to include LED function, sound effects, and also diecast metal. So up, up about this character, they brought it really good with the LED and the diecast metal. Another point is the arms. It's just a normal arms with the, a normal paint. But what I really love about the arms is it's the fingers. They make the fingers look like a sharp claws, and that is a really good feature. So it looks it differentiate Megatron from Prime. As you see, so you have Prime as the normal knight. So Megatron he does look like more a warlord than a knight. So it is more menacing and more interesting. Upon the overall shoulders of Megatron, you can see this is clearly two different ammo pieces. One is rounded and one is rectangular. So the rectangular one has a spike and that is you can push it down due to transformation. This is a really good feature. It adds a highlight. So like the right side you have you have the gun, but then on the left side you have the spike. I really adore that. Other around the bodies, like I said, it's just like the same rectangular rounded armor piece but with highlight of gold and bronze color here and there they just highlight the figures they do nothing more than that upon with the skirt the skirt armor is pretty interesting here uh you can see this is a uh, clearly two keyboards on the sides this is the, the two bronze piece but then they do not looks like keyboard at all it looks like another armor piece and it really shines with the figures and you back down to the front skirt armor this looks uh, like it made from a rubbery material. So as a result, the paint has a more like a matte finish than the rest of the figures. And of this, I really like. I love that matte color theme, and it really helps the figure to look spot on. And it also do not cr cr crash with articulation because it makes a rubbery, so you can have more articulation, and so they can like kind of skip on the joint there. So that is a really good, that is a plus one of the figures. And you have the back, this is like I said, this is a, from the rotation. This is a really cable free figures. I really like that. They even try to make the spine to look more aesthetic, it looks more humanoid. And I really like that. The butt armor is just a normal hurt shape piece, nothing too excited about that. The final component is the leg. And like I said, this is nothing too different with the whole body this is still the rounded shape with a little bit of color here and there to make the highlight so yeah it is more rounded so compared to the other Megatron legs you don't see any mechanical mechanical details like with the revenge of the fallen Megatron he has the trench but then this is you have normal feet now so this is a lot more humanoid than the old Megatrons and bring it onto the back to, as you can see here it's nothing too different, but the joint are diecast metal. I guess to support the weight of the whole figures, and they try to make the joints a ratchet diecast joint. I really, really enjoy that. So it makes my figure can stand for like more than the other plastic joint figures. But the one thing I do not understand about the back, the leg is this one. If you flip open the figures, as you see here, the feet they are not flatted. But they are more like rounded with edges to help the, the figure stand. So it does stand, but then in a certain situation, it can be tilted or even fell. I actually, 
the figure felt when I put it onto the, my rotation table to rotate. Accessories wise, we have the sword. This is the sword that appears on the last night. And this is, like I said, a menacing sword from a, of a warmonger. I really enjoy this sword because it's a very creative transformer weapon. A more like, you know, like a uh, Middle East weapon kind of thing. And it is also, it's still the same old, the same old gray plastic with gold highlight. But the gold runs up on the whole sword. And I really enjoy that. You flip it all over a size and you, uh, this is, I'm kind of disappointed because on the tip, you can see some plast plastic spot. This is from the molding. I, I'm kind of disappointed with that. And in the middle of the sword, there's a hole. This is actually like a, so you can connect it onto the shield. And to attach to Megatron, you have this tap on the handle here. So you just tap it in like that. You just bring up the arms and there's this hole here. I'm going to try to tap it in right now. So he can hold his sword very securely. Because they actually, they learned this kind of attachment from Gundams. From the Master Grid line. With the kind of like weapon attached onto the holes on the hand thing. The other accessories is the shield. So the shield doesn't appear on the screen. But there is a concept art. And I'm really glad that Unique Toys took this concept art and bring it to life. Because we all know that Optimus has a shield. So what happened if Megatron also has a shield? So this is the answer. So nothing too major here. The same classic layering, panel lining, and gold painting highlight of the shield up, up on the whole figures. So it has a pack, and to pack it into the arms, you're just gonna put it onto his arm with this hole, with the hole right here, just like that. Plug it in, and there we go. This is Megatron with all the accessories that he came with. And one more thing is the Optimus Prime head also came with this figure. So this is like a more detailed version of the old Unique Toys Challenger. So nothing to measure. But I'm gonna put I'm gonna change the head with this head soon because this is a really good head. It can also transform. So you just bring it out. We got the whole head section here. And then you pull it out. This on, on the spring load. And you rotate it. Then put it back and flip it back and you have Optimus you can swap the face here and there so that is actually pretty cool for the comparison of the optional head and with the original unique toy head as you can see this optional head doesn't include a LED function so it has the eyes and that and otherwise the details looks more sharper and then you have more details on the on the blues and the fin is a little bit different as well the fin on the new head has more dimension than the old one of that I really enjoy that and you got more details here and there as for the middle horn the foreheads of Optimus it looks more in sh inside in shape and doesn't really puke out the forehead like with the old ones one more thing with the shield and the sword if they can all start onto the back of Megatron this is how you do it First you remove the shield and you bring it out. There's this tab here and plug in the hole right there. So you just plug them together like that. And the two can put onto Megatron's back with the hole in the middle. So that is a really good weapon storage option. I really love I love figures with weapon storage. Articulation wise the head can look up that far, down that far. The spinning is kind of limited due to, due to the chin of the figures and the spike on the body. That is it. Up on the arms, the arm can, the shoulder joint can move up and down like that. They are double jointed with a bow joint. The arms can move up forward so the shoulder does doesn't get in the way that is a really good raise it can move to the back as well the same it can move out this is a ratchet joint down like that we have a bicep swivel here like that and we have the elbow bend this is over 90 degrees enough for posing but not really good in my opinion 
the hands can rotate and you have the individual thumb this is the three fingers you have the index finger and this is the thumb here so they both have two joint three joint on the index and the other three uh, fingers you have a hip hip swivel here you can turn around 360 really good and how because of the side skirt armor are uh, spring loaded so they doesn't get in the way that is really good the front skirt can move up that far nothing too major because it's already made from proper up onto the leg the leg can kick up that far kick back that far and you have the spread that is a beautiful spread according to Joby the Hong bring it down this is from ratchet joint you have a knee band this is really good I'm gonna pause this for a while because this when you bend the knee it highlights the die cast joint you have this is really good Sorry. there's no swivel on the leg and the feet there's his thigh swivel and to the feet there's an only, only a toe, toe band and that it is for the articulation of the figures size comparison this is Megatron with Optimus they're both from Unique Toys and as you can see Megatron towers over Optimus but then this is what I question we all know that Megatron is taller than Optimus but it is that much it is that much that Megatron is like a really tall like nearly like half the top optimus well, why uh, i'm really confused about this and i hope that by watching rewatching the last night i might get an answer but i really don't want to do that and this is with unique toy optimus and this is with the movie masterpiece optimus prime from takara the official one as you can see he looks optimus looks even shorter now so that is my question i'm really confused because according to the movies optimus shouldn't be that shorter than megatron you know but then this is what we have and that is for size comparison so that is for the articulation of this figure and um, I think it can get you into more poses you want with this Megatron but to me what I'm gonna prefer is to stand him in a normal way that is the best way I think you can show him and the articulation one is decent enough to pose like I said but then I'm quite disappointed with some especially with the feet I see it is quite lanky and I kind of hate that to be honest but then anyway that is my opinion on this Megatron so what do you think so comment in the comment section below and tell me and we can have discussion about this figure I really like to have discussion about third party figures to see that how they've improved the original and how they how many flaws do they have or how can they fix it and that it is for today review I'm gonna see you later with the upcoming figures of official from Hasbro so be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and push that bell button for the notification and subscribe to me on Instagram so you can get my updates and everything and that will be it for today my friends uh, I'll see you guys later turn out